gentlemen we've got a special treat for you tonight this isn't something we ordinarily do but i'm telling you you're really going to enjoy the next couple of minutes and you've got my word on that ladies and gentlemen making her professional debut miss what do you like stephanie or stevie stevie miss stevie brody She's Just cute. Where did you find her? This isn't some broad you find somewhere. Together. Right, she's the Duchess of Windsor. I'll bet you're all ready to love her. Yeah, we had a little problem, but we got the merchandise. What would you think about singing for me on a regular basis? Well, you got something else you're doing at night? Uh, what do you mean? Always level with you. About my singing? About your wife? It's all right with you. 
I'll be going now, Mr. Murray. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Just lock up on your way out, please. Sure thing. Good night, Steve. Good night, Sam. He's a good man. Why is it you always manage to surprise me? What did I say? I just said that he was a nice guy. He's been with me 12 years. Tell me how you say. You're a lot more sentimental than you'd like to admit. I'm not sentimental, Steve. When I like something, I like it. You know what I mean? I have a friend who says she'll only go out with married men so that she doesn't have to get involved. Somebody at the back door. I'll just go see who it is. That Moran? That's right. Brian, Mid-South, this is Detective Jam Bone. We have a man working for you named Woody Fights. Sometimes. He's a part-time bartender. Look, what's this about? What about his other part-time job? I asked you what the hell this is about. Hey, 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 was that a complicated question? You asked me if the guy worked here, and I told you he did. Now, you want me to answer any more of your questions, you come back with a piece of paper that says I gotta answer them. Feist is dead. He was killed hijacking a truck tonight. We're trying to get to the bottom of it. This place is closed. You want to talk to me? You come during business hours. My loyalty. No one's saying you did. I said get out. It's okay, Stephen. Go sit down inside. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, man doesn't want to answer our questions. Frank, what are you doing here? I got a better question. What were you doing with Moran last night? I was having dinner. We're gonna stand in the doorway like this here? You know, Frank, we get days off. What I want to do with my own time is... All right, all right, look, let's just hold it right there, okay? I did not come over here to pick a fight with you. I just don't want to see you get mixed up in something. I'm not the one who's mixed up, Frank. No one appointed you my guardian. Do you have any idea who Pat Moran is? Yeah, some. He's married, you know that? <laughs> oh, and that's all right with you. Is it any of your business? Stevie, will you get it through your head? I'm not internal affairs, okay? I want to talk to you just like a friend. <sighs> the organized crime units have a book this thick on them. That bar he runs happens to be very popular with the bad guys. Yeah, and Charles Manson loved the Beatles. What does that prove? He's married, and that's fine with you. Hmm? He runs a mob joint, and that's fine, too. While you were having dinner with Mr. Moran last night, there was another trucking hijacking. The trucker and the hijacker were both killed. The dead hijacker worked for Moran. So what does that make him, huh? A hijacker? I sang there last night. What does that make me? Well, it all depends. Does he know you're a cop? No. It never came up. Right. Nobody's looking to hurt you, Stevie. I mean, Kevin doesn't even know I came up here. I think you better go, Jambone. It's getting late. Okay, play your way. Oh, uh, if you feel you need a partner, give me a call. Yeah, that's two over there. That's it. Let me get you something else, Stevie. You no, know, I'm fine, thanks. You know, sometimes I hate my job. I really hate it. I think everybody feels that way every once in a while. Not the same. As what? It's anything normal. It just keeps coming in my life, you know? No, not exactly. You go to work, you do what you have to do, and when it's over, you go home. When I go home, it's still there. It gets in bed with me, for God's sake. Well, it's not so bad having a cop in your bed. <laughs> Nicole, mm -hmm. when you were married, did you ever wonder if your husband was fooling around on you? No, I... <sighs> well, yeah, sometimes. How do you think you would have felt if you knew that he was seeing someone, someone that he cared about? 
could I feel I loved him? Maybe you would have understood if you knew that it wasn't something that they planned. It wasn't something to hurt you. Nobody is that understanding. Especially if there's kids involved. Kevin told you. No. You just did. I don't, I don't want to judge you or anything, Stevie, but I, I just think you ought to realize that what you're doing has consequences for other people. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm all right. No. I'm not all right. Just tell Kevin that I couldn't wait any longer, OK? Sorry. Sorry, Mike. I didn't think you were coming. Sit down. Very good. You want a drink or something? No. And I don't want any lectures either. No lectures. A few questions. You're not going to stop seeing this guy, right? Are you sure he doesn't know you're a cop? I'm sure. Now, you know that we think he's mixed up in quite a few hijackings. He isn't, Kevin. Maybe. Now, you know you're a cop. Yeah, I know I'm a cop. So, if you see anything... There's nothing to see, I'm telling you. Now, listen to me. You're hanging around with a man who may be mixed up in some very serious felonies. Now, that's not a pretty thing. And just because you're sure of him, that doesn't make it any prettier. What is your point, Kevin? I want your assurance that if you see anything or if you hear anything... He's a friend, Kevin. A good friend. I am not spying on him. I'm not telling you to spy on him. I just want you to make sure that you know who you are. By spying on him? By doing your job. You didn't give me an answer. that stuff last night with the cops? Yeah, I guess that's it. Part of it. Why were they there, huh? They thought I was mixed up in some kind of hijacking. It's probably just because I hang out with Beansy. Maybe you shouldn't. He's a friend of mine. We grew up in the same garbage can. We shared our first cigarette together. We shared our first... Girl. We go back a long way together. And that's the point. You remember last night when I was telling you about uh, when I first opened the club? When you did all the cooking? Yeah, and I was a head waiter, and I tended bar. And I was even the hat check girl. I couldn't come up with enough cash to pay the help, so Beansy put some cash in, and we got off the ground. Maybe he isn't to some stuff. I don't know. I don't ask. What am I supposed to do, huh? Pretend I don't know the guy? You're not very good at pretending, are you? This Mr. Stuff. Call me Beans. Beans. <laughs> Come on, sit down. I'm Stevie. Oh, yeah, this is Trixie. Uh... Trixie Flynn. Hiya. Today's my birthday. Oh, you forgot. Yeah, well, I know how to have a good time, even if you don't. Put that away. Hey. I told you never to bring that stuff around me. You're no fun. I'm going to the John to powder my nose. You coming? No, thanks. Go ahead. Just keep her out of trouble. took that from you. Ah, oh, that old party poop isn't as smart as he thinks he is. I've got lots of these. How about it? Uh, no, I got sinus trouble. You know how it is. Oh, do I ever. This is really good for it, though. Clears the little buggers right out. Go ahead. It'll make
make a new woman out of you. <sighs> yeah, right you are, a new woman. Wonder Woman. Happy birthday, Trixie. How can you figure a guy like that, huh? Sure acts like a big spender. I think he could have made a nice party for you. Oh, he's all right. But all he wants to do is work. All the time blabbing on the phone. Even when we're, like, in the sack, you know? I mean, the phone rings and it's all over. <laughs> Gone, just like that. Well, what kind of guys do you think would call in the middle of the night? All his guys. But Arnie. Arnie is the worst. Oh, damn, another pair. I mean, like tonight. It's my birthday and all. We're getting it on a little. Bang, the phone rings. Well, he ought to get an answering machine. That's what he is, an answering machine. Some big deal happening tonight. Every night. Hell, half of Beansy's business gets done at night. And none of mine, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Kevin, something's happening tonight. What? I think it's a hijacker. Did you hear this from Moran? Mm -mm. Beans Danino's girlfriend. It's Danino who's behind us, not Pat. The two of them are like this. Kevin, you gotta believe me. Pat's got nothing to do with it. In my you. office, Detective Brody. Back out in the cold. You were seen sitting at a table with Beans Danino tonight? Yeah, I just gave Kevin some information about the hijacking case. What about the drugs at the table? Who did you tell about that? Do you realize what internal affairs could do with something like that? Don't you know you're putting all your partners in jeopardy? Do you think that we're the only ones watching this place? IAD is going to find out about this sooner or later, and when they do, you're going to have more trouble than you can handle. And I could lose my job. What do you want me to do about this, sir? I'm not giving you any orders on this one, Stevie. Stevie, how are you? Good. Where's Pat? Pat's with us. Oh. Hi. 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 I need to talk to you now. Some straight answers, Pat. I haven't given you any other kind. I thought that we meant something to each other. I thought so, too. Don't lie to me, Pat. Those detectives that were here the other night, they weren't here because of Beans Danino, were they? That's got nothing to do with you. How about that man that was shot in the truck robbery? He worked for you. He's a part-time bartender, like in a hundred other joints. And what about Bruno? I got two dozen waitresses working for me downstairs. I got a dozen bus boards. Do you want me to tell you that none of those guys have did any time? Or that none of those girls pulled any tricks? I don't know what little town you come from. Things don't happen like that in the big city. I don't come from a little town, Pat. Then grow up. Either we mean something to each other, or we don't. It's got nothing to do with anything else. You keep telling me everything's got nothing to do with anything. I can't live like that anymore, okay? Why the hell not? I'll tell you why not. Because she's a cop. What do you say, honey? You want me to tell him your shield number?
Allison. I'm not interested in hurting you. I just want to know what you know. I don't know anything. <laughs> Leave her alone. She's sending in reports. I just want to know what's in them. Then we all just walk out of here friends. I didn't tell him anything. That's the truth. <laughs> I said leave her alone. Who you with? You heard her. She doesn't know anything. She's a cop. She just used you to get to me. Don't you know that, dummy? Hey, Shut I up. Didn't... I don't want to hear anything. Now get out. Hold it. Hold it. There's no way she can go, Pat. What are you doing, Maisie? You're going to kill her right here in my office? Come on, Pat. Because if you do that, then you're going to have to kill me, too. Me and the police lady walk out of here, and that's all you got to know. And you wake up tomorrow morning, and you forget you ever met her. I don't forget. Yeah. All close up, Mr. Moran. Thanks, Sam. See you tomorrow. All right, now I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Me and this nice police lady are just going to walk out of here. You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Pat. Sir? Oh. Sir? What? We're closing. You saved my life. I was drowning. Come on. We're closing. If this chick could let me do is buy you a drink. and betrayal, friendship and duty. How do we balance them out? Brutus betrayed Caesar to save Rome and earned the thanks of his country and an eternity in hell. So what do we say about friends and lovers and cops? I don't know. I don't draw the morals. I just tell the stories. There's no need for you to be here, is there? Pat, please don't say that. Well, that man you got killed was my friend, Officer Brody. It's Detective Brody. Then do me a favor, will you, Detective? Call my wife and let her know where I am. But when I... 